Hi, hello, and welcome again everybody to another episode of Natural Juan. This episode will be unscripted as I will be going over one of my favorite games which is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to start the game here. And like I said, this is completely unscripted as I will be giving you a brief walkthrough or tour of some of the stuff you'll find here in Skyrim. Anyway, special shout out to Mr. Jonathan Green, my patron in Patreon, who's been supporting me all this time. Again, I invite you all to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications if you would like more content like this. And if you want to help out with my channel too, you'll find my PayPal, Patreon, and Gcash information in the description below. So, without further ado, let's get started guys. Gotta love that song of Dragonborn song. Ooh, troll. Okay, guys. I think we're getting ready here. Well, I stopped in the town of Iverstead. This is one of the towns in Skyrim. But what we're gonna go over is the city of Whiterun. That would be the capital of Whiterun Hold. See, here's the map. And now let's go to Whiterun. Yeah, this city here, this little... Yeah, we're gonna fast travel there. It will be more realistic if we go to the stables first. Okay, here we are. I don't know if you guys are... I don't know. I played this game back in... 2014. I think I started in 2014. And this is the new anniversary edition of Skyrim. And it's got everything in it. It's pretty much the same plus more. Like they also got they also got a lot of good stuff from the Creation Club, like adding stuff like fire arrows and more homes for the Dragonborn. And by the Dragonborn that means you, the player character. And I guess in this instance it's me. So yeah, here we are. I'm going up the pathway to the city of White Run, the capital of the White of White Run Hold. This is the central. When they say hold, they're actually describing one of the key regions in a province. And yes, this is the province of Skyrim. So yeah, and before for those who are not familiar with Elder Scrolls, Skyrim is one of the provinces of the continent of Tamriel. There are others like Morrowind, Hammerfell, Elsewhere, or Elsewhere, but yeah, this one is mainly about Skyrim, the home of the Nords. These are like Vikings or the Scandinavians of their respective setting. Um, Morrowind, I think that was about the Dark Elves, but this one, yeah, like I said, is Skyrim. Now let's go inside. As you guys can see, it's night time in White Run, so there's really not much to see. Wait, let's go outside again so that we'll see all the people. And so we'll wait for daytime. And don't worry, we don't actually have to wait for hours. See, it's what? Oh my goodness, it's. One, almost 122 in the morning, of course, there's no people, so okay, we'll wait, but we're not literally waiting, okay, so don't worry about that, we're just gonna stand here, and wait for the hours to pass, and there we go, see, sun is rising, see the light that's surrounding the place, gotta love these realistic graphics, although, yeah, hi, miss, alright, but yeah, I I also love the Im the improvements to the graphics and all. It looks very real. It, it, I wouldn't say realistic, but it looks more alive even now. And we have here Adrian 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 Avenici. She's the daughter of Preventus Avenici, who's also see she's she she's the she's the city blacksmith. She's the one that makes all the weapons, armor. And we believe you, Miss Avenici. We believe you.
Lucy, she just told us about her father, who's in Dragon Reach. We're gonna meet him pretty soon. Like I said, here here are the weapons. She's ooh, wow, anti undead dagger, dwarven arrows, oh, and a pickaxe. Nice. And she also sells armor, as you guys can see here. So that's, um, yeah, Saverio, he's one of the people here. Okay, I'm just gonna let you see my character. Yeah, the natural one. Yeah, he's an Argonian. Before you ask, he's an Argonian. This is the Breeze home. This would be our house. Fully furnished. I even have my own alchemy laboratory here. Where I can, you know, cook up stuff. I even have a wait. I have a kitchen where I can, you know, cook stuff. Yeah. See if we can make anything. No, we can't. Damn it. All right, let's go up the stairs. And here is my room. And my loyal house car. I'm, I'm just being a tour guide, Lydia. Don't worry about me. And here is Lydia's room. And before you ask, Lydia is my house car. She's supposed to be my bodyguard and servant. She will do just about anything for me. What I mean by that is she will provide a lot or many kinds of services for me. And oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't think stuff that's, you know, she does stuff for me. She fights bad guys for me or she can carry stuff for me. Nothing more than that. Don't think anything else, please. Now, let's go outside. Now, actually, I'm going up there in a few minutes. All right, who else is here? Now that was a Battleborn, some guy from the Battleborn clan. They're actually having a feud with another family here. Now I'm going to Bellathor's shop. He's the guy that buys and sells just about anything around here. Hold on, let's go into his shop. Okay, see, here he is. See, and this is the contents of his shop. He sells ice arrows, fire arrows, this stuff's really powerful. Lightning arrows. Oh, sorry, misclicked. Show us your other stuff, Bellathor. Same other stuff he's selling, like cave bear pelts, lock picks. Oh, I need this. I, I definitely need these. How many? Seven. Yes. Okay. Oh, don't worry. I will, I'm coming back, Bellator. Now, for the other shop, we have Arcadius Cauldron. She's an alchemist. You know, like Edward Elric. Uh, but mostly she just sells potions and stuff. And stuff that's useful for healing. Although she does sell poisons too, from what I know. Um, my mouse is just sensitive, Arcadia. Don't worry about it. Let's see what she's selling. Water breathing, invisibility, cure disease. 
this is what we're looking for healing and I think we'll, we'll be needing plenty soon enough Then we have here the Bannered Mare. This is an inn in Whiterun, where you can spend the night and sleep. We have Holda, Innkeeper. And Michael, or Mikael, who, yeah, he's a bard. He plays music, as you can see. Thank you. I'm going to sample some pretty soon. Just need to go back out. Oh, where else? Yeah, so I'll show you more of the people here. See that upside down ship? That's your basker. This is the home of the companions. You can think of them as uh, mercenaries of some sort. They do all kinds of jobs. Uh, hunt down criminals and generally contribute to protecting the city and these are some of the people. Yeah, yeah these are the companions. There's Athos. Yeah, you can see he's, a, he's actually a dark elf. We got Farkas, Brill, and Torbar. The pretty lady is Ayala. Oh, my eyes are quick, definitely, Ayala. Don't worry about that. We have Lucia, who is a beggar. Oh, I can't yet, kid. I'm still having missions that I have to complete. Here, have some money. Okay. Now, let's go up to Dragon's Reach. Oh, shut up, Hamesker. Anyway, let's go up to Dragon's Reach. This is where the Jarl where the Jarl Balgruf lives. He's the... When you say, when we use the word Jarl, you're looking for a lord, but Jarl is the official title for lords of, um, I suppose, yeah, they were the feudal lords of the Vikings. Thank you. Anyway, what I was saying was, when you use the word Jarl, you're referring to the kings or the feudal lords of Nordic society, of Scandinavia, before they became, you know, before they modernized, everybody had feudal lords. You had them in England, you had them in Germany. They called them Jarls in Scandinavia, in places like Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Uh, I suppose they're comparable to feudal lords of other cultures such as the daimyos of Japan or the datus of Filipino culture. Now let's go inside Dragon Switch and meet the people inside. Okay, here we are. See those kids? Those are Jarl Balgruf's kids. And those are just some of them. He has a lot of them. The dark elf woman here is Irilith. That's his bodyguard. And this is Jarl Balgraf himself. Thank you, sir. Okay. See, there's a war going on, but let's just ask him whose side he's on.
is a little ominous. So, okay. Let's see where all the other people are. Wait, I'll introduce you to another guy. This is Farangar, the wizard of Jarl Balgruf. There's actually, for each Jarl, for each hold, they have their own, you know, court. Yeah, like if you go to Riften, the Jarl there has her own court wizard. Same thing for Windhelm, Winterhold, and Solitude. Well, let's let's see what he's got here. Actually, Jarl Balgruf's uh, younger brother, and he also he also has a place in the court. Okay, so that's it for this tour of White Run. This is essentially just a dry run in my plan to make a tour for Skyrim. Just one of the many things I have in mind for my channel. So, anyway, stay tuned. There'll be more where that came from. So, anyway, Natural Juan, out.